Yolin versus Crown Menu. Let's see which one's better. Let's dive right into it. Today we're going to break down Yulin versus Crown Menu. If you guys haven't heard of Yulin or haven't heard of Crown Menu and you're looking for a menu to use, this is the video for you. I'm going to break down all the fun features, what's detectable, what's not detectable, pretty much what you can use, what you can't use in servers with the anti-cheats and all that. So it's going to be a cool video. And yeah, by the end of this video, you should know what uh, mod menu you want to use, hopefully. <laughs> all right, Yulin mod menu. Let's, let's start off with that. If you guys don't know, you don't know what Yulin mod menu is. It's basically known for its insane popularity in the 5M modding scene over the last two years. Just a bunch of creators using it as a way to get back at salty admins or to troll players or to even just use it for fun if you guys watch the mercy gang videos you guys know myself included i use it i used to love this menu i used to use it all the time i still do it has a lot of cool features and stuff but i've been kind of testing the fields with a bunch of different menus but it's still a really good menu to use so i've had my fair share of fun with this menu this is your uh basic functions for players so if you see a player on the player list that means he's close to you if you want to troll him you can steal his outfit then you can teleport to your players this is my favorite function too <laughs> let's say let's say you're on this bike right and you're trying to rob somebody let's say you're trying to rob somebody and that person's running away from you and you're trying to chase them and you can't catch up to them all you have to do is click explode tires and it's going to explode every single tire on this vehicle i used to abuse the fuck out of this shit bro and then you got your kill engine which works pretty well and then you got your make vehicle fly which i've never actually been able to make work so if anybody in the comments has made that work please send me that clip i would love to see it i would literally pay to see it because i've never seen it in action and i kind of want to see it and then you got all your troll options and then it says risk next to it which means which means there is a risk of you getting banned so if you do use it just be careful watch out for the anti-cheat but it does work in servers and the explode feature under the troll options has to be one of my favorites as well because who doesn't like to explode somebody who's being toxic bro across a motherfucker trying to rob you just be like nope and then i think I, I actually think this is new i haven't seen this before but you got your legit and your rage aimbot but i've actually this is this is definitely new because i've never seen it and i kind of want to see it in action so let's go find some motherfuckers to aimbot real quick overall by the end of this video you guys should know what menu you want to use there is a bunch of menus out there but my top three has to be crown menu yulin and susano yulin's only on my top three because i've used it for the past like two years it's actually why i started making videos because it was such a fun menu to use do i wish they updated the menu more yes but it still does work in servers don't get me wrong okay okay so legit aimbot literally just follows the person but let's put that shit on rage see what happens on rage oh okay so it literally just sticks on okay that's fire that's fire hey man just testing my aimbot don't mind me yeah, you fucking thought, little boy. Okay, so there's no keybind. You don't have to click any keybind. It literally just sticks on to the person. That's fire, that's fire, that's fire. Okay. Yulin stepped it up with the aimbot, I'm not gonna lie. You got your silent aim, then you got your trigger bot. You guys already know what trigger bot does. You guys know what silent aim does. Yulin's actually a really good venue. It does still work in servers. And they have their own spoofer, so if you do get banned, you just unban yourself. All right. Now we're on to the, uh, the crown menu, baby. I think the crown menu came out like, what, six months ago? I think it's a pretty new menu, but it's also very, very, very popular because it's owned by one of the biggest 5M modding creators. But his menu is really good. It's very, very well built. It's got a lot of undetected options. Let's start off with one of my favorite options on here, and it's the random outfits. And I know I said this with the Yulin mod menu. I know I said that randomizing outfits is 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 my favorite part. But with the crowd menu, it doesn't just randomize outfits. It looks for the best outfits in the city and it randomizes outfits based on that. So it's going to give you the best outfits and not just some random bullshit. So you got the randomized outfits. Like I said, one of my favorite features, God mode. There's a safe version and then there's a not so safe version. So if you go to God mode, there's a full god mode which is hectable on some servers and then you got safe god mode which works in pretty much all servers so they give you two options if you want to risk it and go full on god mode you could do that otherwise you can go the safe route and just do the safe mode then you just got all your basic functions like you can phase through walls if you're trying to go buy a gun from the gun store and it's owned by somebody and it's actually locked you can actually enable this phase through walls or you can phase through it so you can go buy yourself a gun that's a really cool feature onto network so now what network is it's basically this is where all the trolling options are if you go to network and then you go to players you go to a player you click you select that player and then you can spectate that player you could teleport the player you can launch them in the air you just got all these trolling options cage player 
ram by a car that's a cool option then you got explosion there's a safe version on explosion too so you can safely explode somebody so the risk of you getting banned is actually decreased so that's really cool i like i like how they did this menu a lot of safe options so you can still do a bunch of trolling and still be safe and not get banned then you could actually blame somebody for your death bro if you go to blame go to your death you can kill yourself and it'll say this person killed you so you could actually blame somebody else for like rdming you or whatever and you can actually get them banned actually i'm gonna do that in one of my videos you could spawn a million vehicles on somebody and just completely crash the server you got your weapons the aimbot's pretty cool uh what i like to use is the silent aimbot so if i'm aiming in at somebody and here i'll just show you i'll just show you so i'm actually not aiming in at this guy but if i shoot like right here he's not in my my crosshair but i still kill them you can actually shoot him through walls too watch this watch this watch this he's right here I, I killed him, bro. <laughs> the aimbot's pretty OP. If you go to miscellaneous, there's a bunch of troll options here. It's ridiculous. You got your anti-cuff. If police are trying to cuff you, you could turn that on so they can't cuff you. You got your anti-carry so people can't carry you. You got your anti-TP. So if an admin's trying to TP you, you can't get TP'd. You're destructive. You got explode world. You could completely destroy the world. Feel free to do what you want with that information. Just, just do it for the servers that deserve it. You know what I'm saying? So one cool thing that I do like about crown menu, and I think this is very unique unique is the display spectators so on the top right you guys can see that i have a spectators thing it'll show when like an admin spectating me so i'll know when i need to stop cheating or modding or when i need to like be less suspicious i fucking love that you guys don't understand how many times that has saved me every time an admin is spectating me it'll just show it right there and i'll just stop doing what i'm doing but yeah overall cron menu has a lot of different features it's less detected so you could force emote on people but yeah those are the differences between the two menus there's a there's different features in both but i think overall cron menu does have a lot more features 